Hey everyone, it's Ariola. We're back to another episode of Ariola's Heart Rate Gaming. We're back to my time at Sandrock. And we are in the middle of the winter solstice. Uh, we have the bonfire dance, the barbecue activity, and the fireworks today. So we'll get to see what those are all about. Um, we also have some a few random events popping up around on the map. So we'll probably go check those out. Um, and then I'm going to run around and pass out some gifts because, again, you get double friendship points from giving gifts on event days. So I'll be running around doing that, too. But let's uh, let's just jump into it and go see what these events are. All right. So we got something here with Yan and Musa, it looks like. And so uh, you see, uh, Mr. Musa, uh, heavy equipment thingies, um, they require a lot of gold. And as a conductor, that's a thing. Right? Well, in any case, that's why it's so darn expensive. I mean, if I could use less gold, I would. Really. But we at the Sandrock Commerce Guild simply refuse to cut corners. That is, unless you want us to, Mr. Musa. Er, uh, sir. Uh-huh. Say, Commissioner, I think I left my wallet in the guild. Was it stuffed full of golds or completely empty? I can't seem to recall. Oh, well. That's neither here nor there. Would you mind fetching it for me? But of course! I shall return it to you post haste. In at least one of the conditions you just described. <laughs> Cover it for me, newbie! Buy me some time! A moment, please. <laughs> I want to emphasize that I really need you to handle most of the builder work for this project. When I roll, I want to roll with the best people. <gasps> well, thanks. Hey, what about what about me? Even if she was the best in the world, I still prefer to work with people I know. And as fate would have it, since I've been in Sand Rock, I've been seeing your work the most. You'll receive the standard rate, plus a bonus on all commissions related to the Road to Porsche project. Do your best. A lot of people are counting on you. Will do, as always. All right, got something going on at the research center. What's up? Oh, oh, it's Mint and Chi again. So, they brought you out here again? Yeah, I guess I'm kind of Moose's guy now, which is good. You know, nice to have a stable gig. Indeed. Stability is an often overlooked aspect in evaluating the utility of a given profession. I should know, as those who make such oversights are the types that I've tended to seek out for my lab assistant position. In any case, congratulations. You are aware that Mr. Musa is the wealthiest person in the Free Alliance. This should lead to some solid opportunities for you. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I've heard that too. Good. So, this tunnel project. Will you be needing any new equipment designed? I've been working on a prototype based on an old world design. Something rather obscure. Something you never would have heard of. A laser sharpened sword <laughs> forged from steel folded a thousand times. My theory is that it will be able to slice through the rock, facilitating the <laughs> tunnel building endeavors through the mountains to Porsche. All I need is a bit of funding to get it off the ground and into the forge. What? You mean like that ninja sword you drew on the back of the math homework back in fifth grade? Hmm. No, no. Completely unrelated to that. How about just some childish fantasy? I'm surprised you still remember that. <laughs> you really think that as an adult, I would still fancy making that sword? <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate the offer, Space Case, but Moose has got this project pretty well lined up already. Pretty sure we'll be using already known construction equipment for this project. Don't think we'll need any research this time. Thanks, though. I see. Inform me if circumstances change. <laughs> I love You're going Chi. to wish you had my ninja sword. <laughs> I love his, like, his, his so brilliant and yet so nerdy driven and he's like got these little secret fantasies i love it cheese definitely a top contender right now i really like him <laughs> okay it looks like we also have something at construction junction oh albert is harassing heidi who could have guessed that would happen so heidi Let's talk uh, logistics and communication. And mayhaps later there'll yet be time for uh, <laughs> rekindling old flames. We barely know each other. Huh? How's the golden genius? Gust? 
Augustus fine. Turned out he's super protective of his cute little sister and... Yes. Let's talk logistics and communication. <laughs> Shut down again. Dang it! I searched everywhere for Musa's wallet, and all I found were a couple of one gold pieces between the couch cushions. I was looking for those, but... Uh, you don't think it's possible Musa saw through my ruse, do you? Absolutely. Ah, hey! How you going? Let me just bounce something off you. Kinda random, but I'm thinking about joining the World Literature Club. The first book is free. This is random. It wasn't marked. Uh... Why? Yeah, so I'm gonna get that free book and then unsubscribe. What do you think about that? Ah, oh, come on. Surely they wouldn't implement such a policy if they weren't prepared to eat some losses due to folks like me. Ah, shucks. With or without your blessing. Ah, I'm gonna do it anyway. Business is business. Sometimes you gotta do whatever you can to get ahead. Maybe if you open your own shop, you'll understand that too one day. Thanks anyway. Gotcha. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> You talked to Avio. He wanted to apologize. Ah, I'm used to this by now. He never really understands what he's done wrong. He'd just go into something blind and... Regardless, I'm glad you spoke to him. I'll give him some space. Hopefully he'll reflect on things. I just... Uh, I know this is a lot to ask. But can you be there for him? Just keep an eye on him? I know he respects you, <sighs> and he doesn't need any more of my lectures. Fine. Thank you. I appreciate it. He needs to grow, and he will. I just need to give him room to breathe. Sure. Alright, so this barbecue bake-off thing started. Ooh, I don't know how this works. Click all the town's folks' favorite food. Once you approach a grill, choose all the ingredients you want to skewer. One skewer can hold up to four squares of ingredients, with each ingredient taking up a different number of squares. Don't forget to add seasoning to the skewer. Make sure you pay attention to what the people in town want and season according to their tastes. Once you've prepared the ingredients and seasoning, it's time to start grilling. Press and hold the corresponding button to control the speed of the skewer. Keep an eye on the meter so it stays in the green if you spin it too fast, the skewer won't cook properly, but too slow and it's quick to burn. <gasps> Am I ready for this? How do I know what people want? Am I supposed to get requests? Oh. Okay, he wanted fish and salt. Oh. I don't know. I guess let's just slap some things together. That doesn't seem to do anything. Mushroom, potato, make it spicy. This one, and another fish for good measure. Oh, oh, space, space. Space, grill, grill, grill. I only saw one person making a request, so it's kind of odd that. I kind of have to grill everything, but I didn't have any requests, so what am I supposed to do? Okay, he wants rib meat with salt. So what if, what if I just only do that? Or am I supposed to do like a whole thing of them? I'm very confused. I thought I'd have like a bunch of things popping up and then I'd just do whatever they said.
four people over here. I could take your order. Nobody? Do I have to wait? Oh, hi, Mint. What are you I doing I always have here? to travel for work. My favorite city is Portia, but maybe it's because my Uncle Mayor Gale lives there. Oh, uh, are they gonna switch tables now? Oh, yep, okay. What you desire? What's your desire? Tell me. There, oh, okay. Oh, meat with spice, I already made that. Uh, rib meat with spice, okay. Rib meat, spice. Uh, maybe I should go ahead and slap a, whoops. That's not what I wanted. Slap another one of these on there. Ah, eh, let's go ahead and do it. There you go. Overall ready, I'm still starved. Bonfire dance. Wait, so is that it? But I still have skewers. Can I have one of your skewers? Eat. Nom 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 nom. One of Owens. Can I have one of Owens? Om um, nom 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 nom. Delicious. And, and Vivi. Om um, nom 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 nom. And we can't leave Crystal out. Hey, horse, don't interfere with my barbecue. Nom 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 nom. Delicious. Oh, do we have more orders? More? More? More orders? Hey, you were gone all day, okay. sir. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I... Uh, okay. Salty, sweet potato, spicy meat. Salt. Salt. Uh, shoot. I don't remember which. Was it just this meat? I don't remember. Just do it. There you go. Cook 10 skewers of barbecue achievement. Woo! I didn't know that was an achievement. Good thing I did that. Okay. Are we dancing? Dancing? Dance! May I have this dance? Dance with the townsfolk around the bonfire. Ba ba boo ba. Yeah. Hooga chaga. Hooga chaga. <laughs> Penny, you just gonna stand there? Dancing, dancing. La. An hour till fireworks. Fireworks over sand rock. So pretty. Cool. I like the colorful one in the background. So I guess you could kind of watch from anywhere in town if you wanted. That's really cool. Oh, five, four, three, two. One! Yay! Happy New Year! Woo! Wow! Okay. The New Year is here! Happy New Year's! 
cool. I think that's it. I think that wraps it up. Oh, there's still some random fireworks going off. That's funny. Any main quest stuff you guys want to do? Or is it just taking a while because it's switching seasons? Hey there. Oh, no. Nope. We already have something for you. Fantastic. We went to survey the tunnel area real early this morning, but the old world building that sits across the canyon is all sorts of unstable. Heidi and I can still get across to do our survey job, but I think for actual construction to start, we'll need that bridge pass reinforced to ensure its structural integrity. We're hoping you can do that for us. <sighs> yeah. Thanks. I have some basic work table recipes and assembly station diagrams with me. I think they should be enough to reinforce the bridge pass. While you're installing, please also clear out the boulders on the bridge pass. Let me know when you're done. Thanks. Yeah, we'll just leave all the heavy duty clearing to you and yourself alone. What do we got in the mail? Mysterious letter again. Oh, I, I bet this is one of those like numbers to letters. I'm not sure, but once again, there's no signature. Gunky green gorge goo gas gone. Tunnel talks triumphant. All right, so I guess, oh yeah, and then the ranking. A remarkable turn of events. Yada, 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 you're first. Nice. Oh yeah, and we have that, um, we have the, the, uh, uh, the, uh, blah, blah, blah. The uh, Commerce Guild award ceremony. So that's like right now. So I guess we need to go do that. Do we have any other events? I don't see any. Okay, so this is where it's sending us now. It's going to send us down here to open up this. Ah, man, I was really hoping it would let me over here. I need over here. Bad. There are new resources over here, the two though, so I'm excited to go get access to that. So we'll get on that right away. Oh my gosh, I got caught up in my workshop stuff and completely forgot to come straight over here. Oh Looks good. Like not all of you made it. <laughs> Nevertheless, it is fortuitous some of you are indeed here to witness our prestigious ceremony. <laughs> Let's just cut to the chase. You builders have all carried out numerous tasks, picked up commissions, done, uh, things. Thanks. Many of which were <laughs> menial and unfulfilling. Some of them, I assume, were helpful to our city in some way. But one of you stood out among the rest. One of you went above and beyond the call of duty and built more buildier than any builder has ever built before. <laughs> er, uh, in the last year. <laughs> it is with great pleasure, I, President Yan, on behalf of the Commerce Guild, hereby present the esteemed award for Workshop of the Year. <laughs> and the award goes to... What, what, what the? I thought I... What, what is this word? This isn't my name. <laughs> How do I even pronounce this? <gasps> Uh, hey, that's you! You won! Go get your award! Yay! I did work my tail off. <laughs> get! <laughs> Yay! We did it! Hey, cheer up. There's a, oh, you won? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Must be pretty good. You outbuilt the president. That's right. It wasn't that hard. I wanted to see Slack. I heard he works hard. Do you think he's compensating for the fact that his name is Slack? <laughs> hey, look, it's Slack. Looks like you brought it back. I thought Yan had it in the sack. I guess that's why I'm slack in your top of the stack. You won. That's amazing. I mean, I would have had a shot this year if I wasn't so busy always checking up on my friends. Leon, you did it. Incredible. Seems like only yesterday we were learning the ropes and now you've won workshop of the year. The student has become the master. Hmm. 
I, you, where am I? Mommy? <laughs> and I'm already at first. <laughs> I, I blew him away. I was like over double his points. Ah, uh, good times. All right, let's get down here and get to clearing this mess out. I love how you're just standing there with a cockadoodle doom right next to you. No worries, Mint. I'll protect you. All right, let's clear out the rubble. And it didn't tell me how many, uh, ooh, aluminum scrap. Nice. How many of the bridge pieces I needed to build. I was hoping to get this all done in one go. Can I? No, that's not one. All right. Forward. Okay, there we go. Oh, four and five. Oh, okay. So I got to go back and make more. Oh, I just realized. Oh, I got the Golden Builder Award trophy. Special award for being the number one workshop of the year. Looking at this trophy reminds you in your early mornings at the guild and late nights in the workshop. A lot of people fought hard for this, but now it's yours. It counts as a small exhibit, so I guess I'm donating it to the museum. <laughs> and then we got a furniture chest. I never get I never get lucky on these. So fingers crossed for me. Let's see if I get anything good out of it. New furniture style basic bed. That that sounds like exactly what I already have. I don't know. Maybe it looks totally different. All right, Mint, I'm back. Back with the bridge building stuff. Let's do this. Let's see what's over there. Donk. And the braces. Donk, donk. Donk. And the other braces. Done. Installed. Lovely. Nice work. Not as fancy as our other bridge, but it'll get the job done. We just finished our survey. So let's have a meeting tomorrow at City oh, Hall. Okay. To discuss how we'll proceed next. See you there. See you. All right, so tomorrow, we'll see what we got that we can scavenge. Looks like we can pick Mountain Rose. Ooh, that looks like fiber scrap. Ah, uh, Mountain Rose. I'm already growing those, though. Fiber scrap! So here's where I can get this. What are these plants? Can I chop you? Illusion tree. Medicinal sap, bark and hardwood, an avocado tree. Avocado. Okay. Oh, and here's where we get the limestone. I was wondering. Couldn't remember where to find that. And people have been commissioned requesting like limestone bricks. And I'm like, I don't have access to that. And, oh, yes, I can just harvest agate now. I don't have to break down granite for it. Now I can finally upgrade my stuff as much as I want. All right, what do we got in the mail today? From Trudy. At yesterday's meeting, we organized a follow-up plan for the road to Portia. Today, we're going to meet at the city hall to discuss it. Come join us. All right. All right, so let's go do this meeting at the town hall. Now that everyone's here, let's start the meeting. Mint and I have surveyed parts of the Ufala range, and we've come up with a tweaked plan to present to everyone. This is a map of the southern Ufala between Sandrock and Portia. We're here on the top right corner, and Portia is on the bottom left. In between, we have the two mountain ranges and the vast desert. For the Sandrock Tunnel, we've selected the shortest route through the Ufala Range to save money. It'll start here and end at this point. The only downside is that the rocks in this route are mostly metamorphic rock formations, 
So the drilling machine to be used for this... I changed my mind. I want to use the robot. <laughs> huh? The same robot that nearly killed you. <laughs> this guy convinced me. <laughs> May I say, sir? You have excellent taste. Really? I thought we were going with the same concept as a Porsche plant. Wait, uh, but we have sorry a robot. to interrupt, but uh, I'm sort of lost. <laughs> what robot? Give me all the details. I, I, I mean, <clears throat> well, I'm enthusiastic. The mobile suit. Right, right. Before we go to the director's robot, there are a couple things we need to be doing. First, there are rocks beyond the bridge pass. Big rocks. We'll need to smash them. I'd like the builder's help on this one. Can do. Once we're across, we'll need to build some charges to blow open an entrance point in the mountain. Um, have you checked with the local church of the light about authorizing those? Eh, Minister Matilda wasn't too worried about it when I broached the subject. Just don't tell Miguel, I guess. <laughs> now, tell him about the drill, director. Yes, my proposal is that. Rather than using a slow-moving, tread-based drilling vehicle, I'll focus my time enhancing my, uh, I mean, <laughs> our city's mobile suit. Fitting it with a miniaturized drill powered by the suit's R47 Power Core Ultra. R47 Power Core Ultra? That should give the drill enough oomph to break up even the toughest rock. Now I see why Mr. Musa listened to you. It's a brilliant plan. Cheers, sleepyhead. Just calling it how I see it. Moving on. If my calculations are correct, and they are, and they the are? maturity of digging <laughs> and excavation could be performed by a single driver piloting the enhanced mobile suit. Who will be that lone driver? I'm sure we can devise a very fair and unbiased method of selection. Might I suggest... Yeah, let's cross that bridge when we come to it. Hmm. If the mobile suit could really handle that much work, then I will use most of the budget on sturdier structural frames. As soon as the tunneling begins... <laughs> My team will set up these frames behind the suit to make sure the tunnel doesn't collapse. We'll need the builder's help on this as well. I'll get you the structural frame diagrams when we're ready. And soon, before you know it, we'll have a tunnel and a road. Eight whole leagues through solid rock. Straight into the southern Eufaula Desert. After the tunnel Very is cool. done, I think we'll need to construct a paving block machine to help us make the pavement for the road. But... I think we can talk about this later. From there, guess we'll just have to see who gets through the middle first. Us or Portia. Well, no one can say you all came unprepared. Mint, you work with Director Chi on his enhancement designs. Keep me updated. Send a diagram to Builder when it's ready. Got it. Trudy, are we in agreement? Some of this is a bit over my head, but as mayor, sometimes all you can do is trust your experts. I'm in. I think we can call it here then. I have already submitted a budget to Trudy, so we can get started. All right, everyone, to the road to Portia. Yay! All right. So, we just have to go clear the boulders now. All right. I guess we're just gonna be using our pickaxe and just smashing them. I guess we'll find out. Albert and Musa look like they're chatting about something. I finished discussing with Heidi all the plans and matched it with Porsche's. The plans were so well designed that I could have just telegrammed her instead of coming on this trip. It's always better to discuss things in person. That way, you'll have a better working relationship going forward. Anyway, how about this? Take a little vacation here in Sandrock. All expenses paid. Don't stick around too long, though. Gail told me you're starting on the bridge towards the Ufala soon. Yes? Can't argue with that. And yes, you're right. That'll be quite the task as well. Luckily, we've got a new builder in Porsche who's all that and a bag of crisps. <laughs> I find it so funny that he's dressed the way he is when he comes to Sandrock because one of the like points that people would talk about was that he was successful, but he didn't dress to show it. So he didn't dress very eye-catching i guess you could say and yet he was always interested in attracting the ladies and then all of a sudden he comes to sand rock and he's decked out <laughs> so oh, it's a little weird in meeting this builder. yeah us builders are amazing you'll be meeting my alter ego you'll want to meet them they're very cool oh 
There was no one there. Well, oh, he's I back. wasn't of much use here. You guys did pretty much all the work. I can see Porsche has been good for you. You've matured, Albert. You used to complain a lot when you were left out. And you're looking extra well, Heidi. Got any plans after this? Um, I thought we'd been over this. Righto. <laughs> Just thought maybe enough time had passed, I'd shoot my shot again. Flattered, but not interested. Righto again. Well, <laughs> perhaps we could just catch up as old knights. That I can do. At least he's not pushy. Right, there's something going on down here at the blue moon. Maybe it's more of Albert's vacation time, maybe? Oh, is he going to try and hit on him? Myra. It's it's you two. The man who made fun of my outfit and the beauty who laughed at me. Only because you wouldn't leave me alone, sir. Listen, I'm not one to hold a grudge. I can see you dressed for the job you wanted, but who would want to be a plaid bottle of mouthwash? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Pablo. No, clearly you've really hurt his feelings. Stop. Please, stop. You have a kind heart, ma'am. And, may I say, you're even more beautiful than I remember in my trauma-induced flashbacks. Hey, Amira. He's not bothering you, is he? Oh, no. We're just discussing my fashion sense. You think it's good, right? Oh! Hey, Angel. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Say, I know this really nice place down the way. Really authentic Ufala cuisine. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, let him have it. It's really an honor to be laughed at by such a beauty. <laughs> Is this how you always behave? Yeah, pretty I'm much. I'm speaking the truth. <laughs> let me guess. You've never been in a relationship, ever. <laughs> what? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> But he tries so hard. <laughs> it's cute. Are you falling for me? No. No. <laughs> All right, so we got to wrap this episode up right here. That was a lot of uh, different scenes, but thankfully we don't have any waiting to do. We're going to be going straight ahead and coming down here to clear out these boulders. And then uh, hopefully that'll just push ahead where they're going to start making us maybe make the, the explosives or or start providing some of the structural supports for the tunnel maybe. So we'll be working on building those things. Um, yeah, so like lots of lots of development and things happening now. It sounds like there's a lot of big commissions that are gonna be coming up. So we can look forward to that. So if you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, and subscribe and I will see you next time. See ya!